Brightest blessings, everyone. Psychic medium Elizabeth Grove, the Paranormal Priestess. Welcome to the Paranormal Priestess YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. It means the world. I appreciate each and every one of you who have had sessions with me. Those of you who have referred recently, thank you so much. I've been hearing that there's been referrals on Quora and other different platforms and it goes a long way. So if you have had a positive experience working with me in a session, you've had a reading, you've had a healing session or a paranormal extraction session with me, a spirit extraction, thank you so much for putting the word out there that my work has been helping and that will help me to help others because we are all in this together on this amazing ascension journey. Today's messages are going to be about the extremely intense energies of growth that we are going to be having for the month of April. So buckle up because I know so many of you who have been on this journey, have been doing the work, you've been committed, you've been awfully exhausted having to go through a lot of the healing, kind of like, you know, rinse, lather, repeat, and... I completely get it, but I have to say that for the month of April, we are really going to be having these energies transform us, and this is going to really change the outward reality, which I know so many of you um, have been having concerns since you've been doing so much of the inner work. So without further ado, let's get into this. These particular messages I'm receiving from Archangel Raphael, and I had a conversation with Raphael as to what is going to be taking place for the month of April. What is it that the collective really needs to know? How can we work with this better? How can we see this in a way which is going to help us? And so let's talk about the intensity of this. Now, it's already Mercury retrograde, dun dun dun, right? So of course with Mercury retrograde, it's gonna get us to go backward. Whatever information we've been missing, whatever layers there are to address, this is going to be brought to our attention, okay? And although it can be a difficult time, it can be a very confusing time, often we are losing our sense of what is true, what is not, what should I do, but there's no shoulds, right? What is my path? Is there anything that I need to change? It is certainly a time of review. It's a time of reflection as it always is we are going to be having an extremely powerful solar eclipse. And of course, we just had the lunar eclipse, but we are going to be experiencing a solar eclipse on April 8th in the month of, uh, excuse me, in the moon of Aries. We are in the sun sign of Aries. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, so light it up. And with fire energy, this is going to be so connected to your worth, your value. This is going to be connected to you being able to feel confident, to drive your life forward, to expand, okay? There's going to be a lot of emotional energy now, we're no stranger to that, right? But when we go through solar eclipse, that's going to be bringing through a lot of the lunar emotions. So we're going to be experiencing a lot of that emotional release. And that emotional release is going to be connected to those different stories, beliefs, programs, thought forms, projections, that have been blocking us from truly being in our leadership, being in our power, being able to drive our life forward and really change the landscape. 
please remember we are all like painters so we have the ability to change our reality that's what being in our power is about right is using our mind in a way where we're conscious and we're able to change those thoughts clear those negative affirmations or those negative thought forms bring in something that is positive and in alignment with what we truly desire so you are going to find that a lot of those different thought patterns perhaps those you've been already working on there are going to be deeper layers of that to observe there's going to be more of that to sit with to process there are going to be those emotions the triggering of the pain body right and so when we are talking about our worth when we're talking about our value that sun power that mars energy that strength where we have been lacking in that strength where we have been feeling as if we cannot drive our lives forward and we've been feeling um, angry or frustrated where we have been resisting our power where we've been impatient so you may find that with this energy you're going to have impatience frustration a lot of different emotional triggers coming up because I understand the collective wants to move forward it's been a lot it's been very overwhelming it's been been very heavy and very long but this is going to grow us like nothing else it certainly will so we're going to understand where that self-sabotage has been we are going to understand where those emotions have been very repressed where it's been within our pain body where it has been stopping us from moving forward where it has been blocking us from creating creation and right? creative energy of fire where have we been blocked in our creativity now that creativity could be very literal it could be connected to the arts it could be connected to um, these talents that you have these gifts but this also can be associated with just being a creator in general of being able to manifest so the April energies really are going to tell us we're going to get a lot of that information come in as to how we have been blocking ourselves from manifesting it's going to really magnify for us where we've been out of alignment with our physical reality even our physical bodies so as you can tell we are really starting to ground this energy and the collective is really now tasked with anchoring this energy so that it's no longer going to feel like this you know effort kind of dream it's really going to be anchored into the physical reality where we're going to be able to live from it we're going to it's going to be tangible it's going to be our dreams coming to fruition how do we do that how do we have our dreams come to fruition well it's pulling all of those weeds out pulling them out to allow that sunlight to come in allowing for that new growth tending to that new growth in a gentle loving way and being patient being patient with those processes so ask yourself this April where are you with that you may find that those resistances will be coming up for you that impatience that frustration I do get for April there can be a lot of different emotional triggers someone might get under your skin something might get under your skin but it's going to bring up what it is that's no longer serving it could be a perception it could be about how you're projecting yourself out into the physical world stay very gentle with yourself take the time and space that you need to really tend to this growth it's extremely vital that you do this 
if you are having emotions that come up and they're feeling uncomfortable, there's anger, there's resentment. If you are in a situation or you're around a group of people or you're connected to someone where it's been toxic, it's been giving your power away, it's been courting into your energy, now is going to be the time where you're going to be able to break away from the people who no longer serve you, so connections. And this could even be a connection that you've had for a long period of time that you put a lot of hope and faith in and trust in, and yet this connection isn't the correct match for you. This connection is toxic, it's lower, it's draining. Every time we're holding on to these energies that are not serving us, we keep attaching. It's actually blocking us. It's stalling our process of moving forward. So April is really going to bring to your attention who doesn't serve you, what doesn't serve you, where doesn't serve you, your own habits, your own patterns that don't serve you. There will be a complete revision of the outer world. That's a huge theme of what's happening here. But before we can actually see it come to form, we have to go through this intense growth. So I really, really received that. It's really important that we do not rush the process, whether it's a passion or it's a business, um, oh, usually they will go together. Hopefully they will go together for you because we are coming into more of this time of really doing what it is that we love, what we're here for. But whatever it is that really connects to you, it's not about rushing the process. If you're feeling that you are connected to someone, right, not rushing the process. Whatever it is, whatever the personal scenario is, it's not going to be the time to rush ahead. It's not going to be time to um, just make rash decisions or have rash conversations, right? Um, Mercury retrograde, of course, will bring a lot of confusion, miscommunication, uh, so this is more of a prepare time. And within that preparation, sometimes it is best to be able to choose solitude and to give yourself the time to really feel out those heavy emotions, to really stay with what's coming up, even though it's very uncomfortable. It's going to be the time to really reassess how you perceive. Are you resisting the negative patterns? Are you resisting the, the programming or the beliefs? Are you resisting them? Okay. We are starting to learn now more about incorporating everything in with love or unifying everything with love, including the shadow. And of course, it's a very natural reaction of the ego to want to push away what feels uncomfortable, but it's not going to help us come through the process any quicker. In fact, it only stalls it. So of course, this Aries energy, this fire energy is about moving forward, think masculine energy, leadership, empowerment, value, worth, making things happen in the world, right? physical, tangible things, but it's not going to happen any faster if we're in that resistance. So this is extremely intense energies of fire. Embrace it, but don't be too hard on yourself. If you're not where you want to be right now, this is the time to readjust the mind. This is the time to release the old. This is the time to 
really know where you have been um, giving away your power, where you have felt undeserving of a life of your dreams, where you have been feeling as if you're not capable of creating the life of your dreams. And by really getting underneath all of that heavy stuff, you are going to be understanding when we do move forward, and the collective absolutely will, that anything is possible. Anything. And the messages that we've been receiving from the matrix our entire lives, and other lives, have all been nothing but illusion. They've been nothing but separation. Because with source, anything is possible. If it's in alignment with you, it is absolutely there to manifest for you. The only thing that's blocking it is here, right? So although Mercury retrograde can be oh, just so difficult to navigate, try to see it for what it is. It's a great gift. It's a great gift of transformation. And you are not alone. You are not. We are all together. And the work that we have been doing, you will begin to understand more and more is so worth it. In terms of the laws of attraction, the laws of resonance, you are going to be aligning more with that magician energy, which is Archangel Raziel, by the way. And we are, when you are in that magician energy, wow. When you have this knowing, when you have this belief that, of course, you are able to retrieve, when you have that belief. So what do you really believe? You might find that this Mercury retrograde, there's been a lot of beliefs that have been really negating what it is that you're trying to manifest, right? So alignment, alignment, alignment will be taking place. I hope that this message resonates with you. Again, take a lot of good care. There's going to be a lot of physical symptoms. Um, but... This is going to be so powerful. It is going to be aligning you with your power and success is assured for all of you. It truly is. Success is assured. We are guided. We are capable. We are getting there as a collective of light. And it's so beautiful because the last message that I want to send is that the world, of course, is shifting so much. I mean, we're seeing a lot of the dark agenda trying to hold on for dear life. But the thing is, with all of their attempts, with all of these kind of, you know, lower attempts to keep those lies and those illusions going, uh, it's futile. It, it really is. The light is, there's so much light stream, so much light frequency that's coming on the planet now that it's, it's transmuting so, so much. And all of the dark agenda truly is being exposed for what it is. There's truly nowhere to, to hide. And the beautiful thing here is that the light being anchored and mass awakenings happening, it's, it's really just shifting the planet in such an accelerated way. So this, this is absolutely happening, guys. It, it really, really is. And even people that we didn't maybe think were going to wake up, they may start surprising you. They were having sporadic wake-ups. Um, really interesting there. And if you are having any kind of conflict happening in, say, in the family dynamic, you know, people who are close to you, um, I understand how triggering that can be. I know how upsetting it can be, right? Because it's it's family. But whatever you need to do to um, 
not hold on to that mental, emotional, psychic energy from family. If you need those healthy boundaries, please definitely utilize those healthy boundaries. But don't forget to have this understanding of everyone is learning at their own pace, their own rate, and to hold space with love rather than be in this perception of us versus them, that separation. So do what you need to do to have those healthy boundaries, but also love, forgiveness, of course, is always going to be the best way to go, okay? Because I know that with this energy, um, a lot of that can, can happen. So let me know if this resonates for you. Please leave some comments below. If anyone wants to work in a personal session with me, I do personal readings where we're able to channel and bring through information, bring through word for word information from your team, very specific things related to your personal journey, to your ascension, to your life purpose, to a sacred uh, connection, beloved connection. Uh, all kinds of information, whatever is best, whatever is in the highest good for you to hear. I'm also here to do very unique light language healing sessions where we are able to shift and activate and channel information from other lifetimes and really get to the root causes of so much. I also offer ones that are focused on bloodline healing, which is very, very important as well. And if you are having psychic interferences, entity uh, experiences um, where you're having that kind of interference. I have the spirit extractions and that session is definitely going to be there to clear out things like um, implants, devices, projections, any kind of energy that's in your field or shadow in your field that should not be there and to realign you with your natural or our original blueprint. So for more about all of these sessions, please go to theparanormalpriestess.com and remember from the heart of the darkness is born the light, brightest blessings, and have a very powerful and transformative April. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.